here with interim head women's basketball coach Bill Reinson. We're seven games into your stint here. In those seven games, you've been averaging nine points more, up to 68 points a game, 15 assists, 10 steals. How do you think things are going through those first seven games? I think the girls have adjusted very well to the new system. We've tried to play a little bit more up-tempo, uh, get out and go, get some easy baskets, and I think they've adapted very, very well to the, the defensive scheme. We're trying to uh, deny the opponents the ball on the wing as opposed to let them run what, their norm, you know, what they're used to running. We give up some easy baskets in the process, but we get a lot on our end in the way of turnovers and fast break layups. I think it's going very well. So where have you seen the most progress? Defensively, absolutely. We've been working on it uh, religiously since Christmas. And defensively, we've made the most strides. We're not quite there yet. A lot of possessions, there'll be three girls in the right spot, two not in the right spot, even four in the right spot, and one not so sure. We have to become a little bit more consistent. But the, uh, the effort's there, and they're really working on what we're trying to do. It's funny, when, when you take over a program and, and you try to put a stamp on it of yourself, I never played defense when I was a player, but I do understand the importance of it. And that's one thing that we can learn, that everyone can learn, regardless of skill level, is to play hard and to uh, be in the right position defensively. And if we're going to learn nothing else this year, we're, we're going to learn how to play defense. Very good. What has impressed you with the team so far? Uh, I think the attitude. Everybody has a positive attitude. I've really enjoyed being around the girls. They, uh, they practice very hard. They play very hard. They have their mental lapses, just like anyone else. But uh, I think it's the effort day in, day out that has, has really impressed me the most. Crystal Garrison had 20 points at Cornell. And I saw you. She had the ball, the chance to shoot at the beginning of the game. And she didn't shoot. Took her out. Talked to her, she went back in, and she had a three-minute run where she scored nine points. So what would you tell her, and how did she do after that? Crystal is a very talented and a very interesting person. She's, she's very unselfish, and she wants to play within the team concept. In our team concept, we don't have a lot of shooters, and I need her to shoot the ball. And I've been telling her that for four or five games. And sometimes she's very good about it. Other times she passes up a lot of shots. And I just felt that that was the time where I needed to make her understand the importance of it. Uh, if she has an open shot, you need to take it for the team, not just for yourself. It's not being, you know, hoggish, anything of that nature. And I think she got the point because she understands how important she is to this team with her scoring ability. And hopefully that will carry over to the next game. Switching it over to you a little bit, how's the transition been going from assistant coach to really just a, going to being the head guy? Yeah, it, it's been something, I, I guess it's something that you prepare for your entire life. Just to be able to stand up and call the timeouts and call the plays that you want, make the substitutions that you want to make. It, it's a lot of fun, I'm not going to lie. You know, being in charge of the game and being able to uh, to delegate things and, and select the players that you want to be out on the floor, a lot more pressure too. You know, as an assistant, a lot of times you can get lost on the court, just watching the game, and you don't have to watch for certain things uh, that maybe the head coach watches for um, momentum shifts, things of that nature. So it's it's been a whole lot of fun. We got Liberty tomorrow. Next we go down to Spartanburg for USC Upstate, and then we got UNC Asheville the following Monday. What are you doing to prepare for those next few games? We're going to continue to work on defense. Uh, Liberty's team, the team that we'll play tomorrow night, is probably on average taller than our men's team here at Longwood. They're a very big team. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to try and get out and pressure them defensively and not let them get into what they want to do. Because if they're running their sets, and they're getting offensive rebounds, it's going to be a long night for the Lancers. Uh, what we'll try to do is get out and, and get some easy steals, some easy baskets, so we can counteract the size advantage that they have. As far as preparing for the game, kind of divvied up the scouts, USC Upstate, so I'll begin working on that Saturday morning so that we can prepare for USC Upstate. Uh, Juanisha Smith and Gail Coates and I, we alternate games, and uh, 
the Liberty game will be Gale Scout. So we kind of work on it individually and then bring it all together right before the game. All right. Well, Coach, thanks for your time today. And remember, get all of your Longwood Athletics updates at longwoodlancers.com.